Hello. Last weekend, my girlfriend and I went to Barcelona and Sabade to see my good friend Ellie, who has been in other vlogs. We had a wonderful time, and this is the story of that weekend. I hope you enjoy. At 5 a.m. on Friday, I woke up. We caught a 5.45 bus to Madrid Airport. From there, we went through security boarded our plane, and made it to Barcelona around 11 a.m. At around 11.15, I saw this cool rooftop that says Occupy and Resist. This happened to be outside of Park Guo, which had a decent view of the city and this amusement park on a hill. I'm not really sure what it was. There were lots of tourists, and I didn't realize you have to pay to get inside Park Guo. Instead, we just walked around and tried to see the sights the best that we could. At 12.10, we were on a metro, headed to La Sagrada Familia, perhaps the most well-known landmark in all of Barcelona. At 12.35, we arrived to La Sagrada Familia. This is the second time I've seen it in about two weeks, and again, it didn't disappoint. At 12.44, I took this video of pigeons. Melissa and I made our way to the other side and then hit the metro once again. At 1.16 I heard the strangest remix of Despacito ever. At 1.22 we made it to Plaza Catalunya where we proceeded to use the restroom in Corte Ingles, and then come out and find this uh, interpretive dancer, perhaps. At 1.50, I saw at least a million pigeons. At 2.13, we ate lunch, and then made our ways on Las Ramblas to see La Bocaria. This was in my last video, but apparently it's been around since 12.17. At 2.58, we saw the Michael Sarah Wax Museum. Cake, why? At 3 p.m., we made our way to the end of Las Ramblas. This was the first time that I'd ever made it all the way to the end, and it dumped into Port Vell. There, I saw lots of tourists, and seagulls, and even more tourists. Melissa and I continued to walk around Port Vell, and we tried to find Barceloneta, but never could. We just enjoyed the architecture and how wonderful the weather felt. Tourists were out en masse. Speaking of tourists, it seems like Barcelona really enjoys them. Like, really enjoys them. At 3.40, we made it to Parque Situadel, and it had lots of green space, and there were lots of people enjoying the day. There were also parrots up in the trees, which was kind of cool, and ducks swimming in a lake full of trash. At 4.20, we saw this fountain in Park Situadel. When we were at the fountain, we saw this really cute family of ducks, and one of the ducks couldn't get up, and there was like a group of people that were crowding around them and just watching them, and I really wanted to go in there and kind of scoop up like the little baby duck and help it out, but Will wouldn't let me, so sorry about that. This was a building that looked like an Olympic torch, but really it's just nothing. Next to the nothing Olympic torch building was the Barcelona Arc de Triomphe. At 4.33, me and Melissa made shadow puppets. At 4.52, we kind of got lost trying to find the Picasso. At 5.40, we admired Picasso's version of Las Meninas. Fun fact, he was absolutely obsessed with this painting. Here's Picasso's different versions of Las Meninas. He spent two years making them. After painting Las Meninas for two years straight, he decided to take an extra year off and spend it painting nothing but pigeons. Just pigeons. Literally only pigeons. Finally, at 6.20, after appreciating the art, Will became the art. At 7.08, we saw Santa Maria do Mar, which I think is another Gaudi architecture project thing, but don't quote me on that. At 11.41, we were in Sabade and watching a Spanish film. Si 
At 2.07, we were finally leaving Ellie's friend's apartment. You know, I watched this movie, and I understand none of it, because even though it was in Spanish, it had English subtitles, I just thought it wasn't a very well-directed movie. But hey, that's just my opinion. I was tired and ready for bed, as evidenced by this clip here, where I gave a thumbs up. Day two was spent with Ellie's maternal grandparents. We literally ate lunch for like two and a half hours with them. It was a great experience. The rest of the day, Ellie and I and other kids threw firecrackers. I have to record this. Okay, so next weekend is the weekend of San Juan, and we are currently throwing firecrackers, uh, firecrackers in this abandoned plaza, minus these six children that showed up, and we're now about to explode this mochila. <laughs> Afterwards, we wanted to try and destroy the plastic handle that was attached to the backpack, but it turns out it was invincible. Ellie let us ride some motorized scooters, or as they say in Spanish, patinetas. <laughs> At midnight, I found this drawing of Ellie's little brother, Aloy. The entirety of day three was basically just us getting back to Madrid. We took an 8 a.m. train from Barcelona to Madrid, and it had four stops, and Melissa and I had different seats, but we convinced the guy that was supposed to sit next to me to sit in Melissa's seat. The views were nice, and there was a free movie that accompanied the train. But in all reality, Melissa and I were very tired. We were ready to beat back to Alcala de Henares, and at the very end of our trip, we were serenaded by this man here. guys for watching this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. I was happy to share it with you all. See you next time.